Okay, you're out partying, you're out tailgating, camping, you want to watch your satellite TV and you can't get a signal. Can't get nothing to work. You're out in the woods, you're out in the parking lot, you don't have any tools. No multimeter, no ohm meter, but you do got this $2 flashlight. That $2 flashlight on the end cap has the switch that turns it on and off. And it's all built in one. So basically, all you need to do is short that center battery contact to the threads of that flashlight to get it to work. First you want to test it. And I take a screwdriver here and short the center contacts of the battery to the threads of the flashlight. And it's kind of working, but not very well. That's because we have too much corrosion. Remember, meter leads, you have points. So you stab through that corrosion and get to the metal. Here you're just touching things. I got a clean tool with no corrosion. And you can see that system works pretty good. So I'm going to be able to use this to check continuity in my coax cable. Now remember, when you're doing this, you got that coax cable completely isolated. Because if you touch this battery, when it's plugged into anything, it's going to burn it up and fry. So make sure you're coax cable is completely disconnected from any equipment before you try this. Okay, now we're going to take that center coax stinger and touch it to the battery contact and the other stinger we're going to touch to them threads and you can see the light lights and turns off. Now you're going to take that stinger, touch the contacts and touch the b-nut to the threads. If that light blinks that means your cable is shorted internally you need to figure out how to fix it. Okay, now let's say you want to troubleshoot two feet to 20 feet of cable. Take some aluminum foil, jam it in your connector, shorten out your stinger to the B-nut. And now you touch that center stinger and the B-nut to the side of the flashlight, the flashlight comes on. That's telling you you got good continuity through your stinger out the other end of your stinger into the aluminum foil back into the b-nut from the b-nut into the shielded ground all the way back to the flashlight telling you that connector's got good continuity it's a rough check it's not that accurate but it'll help you get through a snag once in a while now the information you get here isn't written in stone but it might just help you out Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.